My name is Mark Thompson. I think as an author, I would be best known for my 1987 book, uh, the first of, I think, eight I've done. Uh, it was called Gay Spirit, Myth and Meaning. Well, obviously, my name is Malcolm Boyd. I wrote a, 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 a true bestseller with a million copies in print, and it was called Are You Running With Me, Jesus? And it came out in 1965. So it's my connection with uh, millions of people. And became an Episcopal priest and got very involved in civil rights, more than he's letting on here. And I'm very impressed with my partner of 30 years. Well, I came out to Hollywood, didn't know anybody. I was in my mid-20s, and the, and the partnership with Mary Pickford, of course, was huge. And She'd been the most famous woman in the world for a decade, and that brought me into another kind of orbit of life with its own perspectives. Yeah. Anyway, I never saw myself that way, and, it, and I wasn't into a lot of narcissism, and, and I sort of said, I don't want to be like these people in five years. In other words, I was looking for meaning. I grew up in Carmel, California, and started working as a reporter from the time I was a very little just as a kid, I worked on the Carmel Pinecone, which is California's oldest continuous community newspaper. <coughs> and then to San Francisco State in the early 70s, where I, I immediately came out as a gay mm -hmm. activist. And so I worked for the advocate for, you know, until 84. So I moved down here, not knowing a soul. Just, but there was one mutual friend, and he provided an introduction. And so we just started to uh, date. Of course, I never thought that it would be possible then to be in love, to be married to a man, to be accepted as a couple, uh, that your whole life would revolve around that. That didn't seem remotely possible at a point. Being gay then was also considered to be a part of the sexual revolution, and just not a revolution of lifestyle or ideas. So there was a lot of sexuality happening in many different forms. And who knew that just in a, within a decade, this awful virus, this was our holocaust. It, it came upon a, a, a group of people <laughs> who, really had perhaps no way to understand history and their own part in it. And it came with a terrible fell swoop. And I lost three partners. And I'm sure that was around the time I contracted the virus, probably through one of them. So I have lived with AIDS for all of those years. The one thing that has sustained me beyond all of this, I say, the love of a good man and what I feel about the young uh, gay kids that are coming out today, that they bear with them the hope and the future of the world. And that many of them, I feel, intuitively know this, that there's a deeper secret or purpose or point of, of why so many people are coming out. I also feel that um Faith itself is undergoing a lot of changes. Homosexual probably wasn't a word that would be tossed around very much when Jesus was around. But uh, he's one of the queerest people in, in the history of the world. So queer then is, well, it's creative, it's different, it's, uh, it's very challenging. Yeah, we're the same as everybody else, we, you know. But how are we different? Yeah, there's this one way that we're really essentially, crucially different, and it's that little difference that is so telling because we're lovers of the same, not the opposite.